This video shows how to use Ulink and USB JTAG NT to program the BIOS chip on the board. This is a, a so netbook motherboard and this is the SPI flash. Uh, we will show you how to program the SPI flash while it is on the board. Here is the diagram of the connection. Uh, the power supply can be 3.3 volt to 2.4 volt. What I found is 3.3 volt on this board does not work. And when I lower it to the 2.5 volt, it started working properly. First, let's create an XML for it. Uh, I have a lot of uh, requests saying that it is difficult to make the SM, uh, XML. So let's see how to make this one. So. Oh, go to the configure folder and find one that's uh, similar. So let's say I want to make an XML from the uh, existing SPI flash, which uh, this seemed to be a good candidate. So I copy and paste it. And I'm going to name this as the BIOS, so Acer BIOS, so A-S-E-R BIOS. Uh, one meg, okay, it's one meg byte flash. And then we can open an editor and name this. So this the test name and the file name should be um, matched without the capital T in the front. And the category should be other or, or different, doesn't matter. And this is SPI flash, and this is big, and it's flash. The size of this flash is uh, 25x80, which is one meg. So we make it this one. So save it, and now we have the XML. Uh, after that, we need to exit again. And let's start the application one more time. So restart the application, and then go to the configuration. And say, I want to uh, either, either Acer and BIOS oh, or you can go to the others and you can see this is one meg is in here and click it it is a good idea to always make a backup first so let's detect it and then read the entire flash you can see this is the flash and we can Back it up, say call. And here is the BIOS chip that we downloaded. Uh, and I have already saved it to here, 3310.fd. Uh, we can load it, let's initialize it and load this one. So clearly it won't match because it's not from the same BIOS. So now we let's program it. And you can see with USB JTAG NT, it's really, really, really fast without even desort it. So verify it. Uh, it takes a few seconds to program and it's done.